All right, man, well, here we go. We're back. We're working on Louis' uh, light 86 Corvette here. We had a lot of problems with the shifter cable on his. So we're about to change it. And I was looking around on uh, Facebook because we couldn't figure it out. Uh, well, we were having a hard time, a slow time of figuring out how to change this cable. So I'm going to make a quick video and show some of the highlights of it. So let me get over here inside the car. Lou D, I got to roll in over here. And we got a lot of part. If, um, I wish, I really wish we would have started this video and prior to we're to the point where we're at. But what I'm going to do is show you the highlights of this. Okay, the shifter cable itself. Okay, let's start like this. We had to remove the the top here. All these uh. Yeah, we got to remove all these. Uh, what are they called? The plates, whatever. The console. The console. The top of the console. Got those all removed. Just Phillips screwdriver, shifter knob. There's a little button here on the automatic. You just stick a little screwdriver underneath it. The knob pops up. And they say there's a, uh, a snap ring or C clip on these. This one didn't have it, so we we're able to pull the shifter knob right off. So you pry the button up, comes right off. Then the knob on this particular one just slid up. And there we go. Then we took everything else apart. Um, this is the shifter cable we're changing right here. This goes down to the transmission. Oh, excuse me here for a second. Ah, I lost it. I hate this magnet light. I hate it. Yeah. Okay, so now, um, this shifter cable goes from here. We remove the heater control and the radio. It makes it so much easier if you do that. Uh, the radio unplugged, no problem. The heater control plug, no problem. We found a whole bunch of uh, mice nests back here. We, I'm glad we did because we've seen this wire here. Looks like a mouse had a nice little uh, meal of that wire, uh, the coating on it. So <laughs> we're going to repair that one. And they did it somewhere else over here. There's another wire they chewed on too. So we're going to fix both of them. But that, back to this. If you look right here. This is the cable we're changing that goes down to the, to the linkage on the transmission, the detent. There's a C-clip right here. This pops off. This goes, this cable goes to this shifter. Oh, it's freaking light. There you go, Lou, thanks. Let me see if I can hold this like this. It goes in here, and then it connects onto the shifter right in here. Now, we got to take this off. This is your, I guess, your park, neutral, reverse, whatever uh, thing. I don't know what you call it. We marked where it, where it was. You see the black marker right here? Same on this side over here. We marked where, where it's at. And then there's just two bolts. One here, one here. This is going to come off. Then we can disconnect this shifter cable from the shifter. Shifter runs through here. C-clip right here. And then goes down into this hole right here. There's three bolts here, and I'm using, I believe, a seven millimeter, eight millimeter socket. It just fell wherever it was. Um, oh no, that's the extension. It's somewhere around here anyway. So yeah, there's three bolts right here. Let's see if you can see them. One two, three. And you got to really sit there and there's a whole ton of grime or um, sealer they put on there so you can actually access the bolts. And that's it. Then when I go underneath the car to hook the shifter cable back up, I'll bring you guys with me and I'll show you uh, what it takes to disconnect that from the car, which is really nothing. Um, so, all right. So we'll get back to you when we get a little further ahead. All righty. Bye-bye. All right. We're back. We got this disconnected. This just popped off the uh, the little bolt. There's like a carburetor bolt, and it has one of these. It's all full of grease. One of these clips. Now, basically, what happens is, oh, let me put that back. This cable just pushes through. <sighs> oh, I can't really do it, but at any rate, this cable's gonna push through, or he's gonna pull it through. Grab the actual cable. Yeah, just gain on it. <laughs> oh, 
a bit of a tedious job. Here we go. And what's going to happen is he's just going to pull the cable straight up through here. I know you got this, Lou D. He's got to go back a little bit farther. You got to muscle it. There it is. All right, I got to crawl underneath there. Okay, it came out. And that's it. That's how you get your cable out. Okay, so when I get underneath there, I'll show you how everything gets hooked up on the underneath. So we'll be back here in a second, okay? Bye-bye. All right, we're back underneath. We're back here. We're underneath the car right now. He's going to feed me the uh, shifter cable, and we'll see how that goes before we button everything up. Oh. oh, it came out through the back. Hold on. Hold on. Here it is. Okay, I got it. No, hold on, pull it back up a little. I gotta get it between this exhaust pipe over here. A little more. Okay. Okay. So, you guys can see now, it's coming up right here, back of the pan. When I was first underneath here, I was thinking this hole was like underneath the console part, under the back where you open up the lid. That's where I thought it was, but no, this is actually in front of the, uh, underneath the uh, air conditioning controls there. So, all right, we got this all set up over here. I gotta get back up there and um, we're gonna hook everything up then I'll, we'll finish this up down here. So we'll be back. All right, ladies, <laughs> now you say that. <laughs> all right, I'm back here. All right, so we just wasted about an hour of our lives here trying to get this shifter cable to fit onto the shifter. You see right over here? this i actually had to grind this down to make it thin enough where it would fit where this clip could go on and that was the last thing we did we played with this thing literally for an hour trying to get that on there and it was just impossible so i got out of uh i actually used the dremel because i didn't feel like taking the whole cable back out again and i just sat there we ground down about whew, Maybe fifteen thousandths, ten thousandths worth of material. Not even now. I'd say about five thousandths, seven thousandths worth of material, and then this clip went right on. So, where do we get it from? Eckler's. And there it is over there in the box. What's it? A Pioneer. So yeah, that's not machine, right? Where the hell's that thing made in? Uh, made in China. No, Colombia. Made in Colombia. Okay. I usually. Yeah, so this was never machined right or made to the right tolerances to fit on this on this shifter. And the C-clip over here doesn't seat all the way down the way I would like it, but it's on there pretty sturdy. So I just wanted to do a quick update on that right there. That was a real pain right here to get this clip back on. I mean, extremely, extremely uh, hurts your fingers just trying to push this thing on. So, yeah, we ground it down, and then once we did that, it popped on with the first try. So, there you go. That's just a quick update. We'll be back when I get under the car. Bye-bye. Yeah, right, here goes the last part I got to put on. It's uh, the heat shield for the actual shifter cable. So, if we come over here, we come over here, and here it is. Shifter comes in from up there. Shifter cable. Goes down here. There's... Two bolts on this right here. And a cottery pin that goes in right there. And that's it. She's all done. Let me just throw the heat shield on here and we'll wrap up this video. Alrighty, bye bye. Alright, so that's it. There it is. That's the heat shield I'm talking about. My vet doesn't have that on there, but that's that's what we're dealing with here, so that's on. Held on by a bolt there, the two tranny bolts, and one in the middle there. So yeah, there we go. Shifter cable installed. Let me get up from under here. All right. Oh, you came out. Oh, <laughs> Still filming. All right, here we go inside the car. I just got to throw it all back together. Or we, or Louis got to throw it all back together. 
<laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we're good to go. So we'll leave it at that. That's the end of the video. Bye-bye.